I'm from Regina. Cathedral. We are standing by my latest mural uh, for the Cathedral Arts Festival uh, on this uh, soon-to-be business. It's uh, right on 13th Avenue and uh, Ray Street. I usually do anywhere from eight to 10 hours per day. Um, if I'm feeling good and the weather is good, uh, yeah, sometimes I call it a little bit early just to get some rest. Anything interesting happening today? Lots of people talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> Which is always nice. Um, but yeah, other than that. You don't mind being interrupted all the time? No, no, because I think it's all part of the process, especially like doing public murals. You know, like you're in the community, you should probably interact with them, unless you're a diva. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes it like, you know, it slows up the process a little bit, but kind of account for that. Every year it's always really interesting. I've met like, you know, politicians to people that are homeless to, you know, your everyday person and everybody's always really excited. I, you know, I never get any like really bad things, um, you know, so yeah, there's just really a diverse amount of people that come around, so it's really nice. Which is that, that like kind of reflects what this neighborhood is. You know, everybody's pretty friendly, so yeah. Since I've done this project uh, for the festival for like the last 18 years, um, I always have business cards on me and you know, I'm, like people are always like, oh, I want this on my garage or I want this on my business, so yeah. When did you start? Spray painting? Yeah. Uh, I would say like grade eight, uh, just like tagging and that kind of thing. Uh, and then I got pretty serious, like once uh, grade 12 rolled around, but then I I got caught and uh, yeah, that really messed up my life. <laughs> I, uh, I got a bunch of like fines and I was living on my own. I could have paid off like $5,000, but I didn't have the money because I was just like, you know, 18 years old, fresh, like out of the house kind of thing. And, uh, and I just did community service, so. What kind of community service did you uh, do? Working at the food bank, which was cool, you know, it, 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 I, you know, helping people is always a great thing, so like, there was that. But, you know, at that time, all I wanted to do was, you know, chase girls and <laughs> that kind of thing, so. I, I didn't really see the benefits of it until like, afterwards. And then I just started doing, legal murals. And then I got even fatter so I couldn't run fast. The worst is like when you try to pull a line and you scrape your hand across the wall and then you got bloody knuckles. But that's amateur. <laughs> it's not my first rodeo. I have not played on stuck on before. Off the top of your head, name every mural, every building you've done a mural on in this city. In this city? Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is going to take me a minute. Um, so here, uh, which is the speakeasy, uh, Burns and Hanley, which is the building across from us, uh, Klein's, Westminster Church, um, there's like a dance studio over on Albert that I've done, um, lots of random uh, uh, residential like garages and stuff around this area, probably the majority of them being that. Oh, uh, the pet store there where it says the village, that part was me. There's another artist that like kind of connected to that. Brandy, yeah, Brandy's of course. Yeah, that one. Oh yeah, the Humpies. <laughs> my, my memory is horrible. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that's like off the top of my head, that would be them. But there's, there's tons, there's gotta be tons more. I'm just not thinking of them. Uh, well, I guess my inspiration is just, I, a lot of my work pertains to nature, so I kind of always, lean pretty hard on nature themed stuff. Uh, I always have like a feeling of that, you know, inside the city, um, you know, people should be reminded of like wildlife and nature and that's just there. So I kind of like bringing that, plus I like animals. Uh, the first section here uh, is a bird. Uh, it's a yellow-breasted bird. I don't know the type of bird I got from Google. 
Uh, and then the rest are just like, um, you know, plants that uh, I've, you know, found reference for, but kind of work off myself and just doing my own illustrations of those plants. Uh, sometimes they kind of morph into different ones. The beloved uh, goose. <laughs> In the last, like, you know, few weeks that I've seen lots of geese, um, I have my obsession with them being kind of like, uh, the asshole bird. Uh, no one really likes them, but yet they're so revered. Uh, so I kind of wanted him to have this almost like red glow. <laughs> so you can kind of, you know, he's beautiful, but he's evil at heart. <laughs> My color choices are really important to me as well. I love punchy colors. I like people kind of getting a feel for contrast and kind of mood that way. I like fantasy stuff, so if I can put two suns in something and make something weird, I'll definitely do it. <laughs> and then it goes into, um, like I said, the, the, the mountains and then into these flowers. Uh, sometimes when, like I said, I paint flowers, they change into different things. Um, I felt like these kind of were like lantern flowers. I think three times I've painted a bunny now, or a hare, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I see rabbits all the time. <laughs> making, my philosophy on making murals is, you know, finding, finding your voice, which is extremely hard. Like, you know, it's always first is understanding your fundamentals of composition and all the stuff that you learn in the basics. But then like finding your voice is pretty hard. I, I've, I've just started to kind of feel my note now and like it's always just exploring it more uh, whether it's like subject or narrative being true to yourself and i know that sounds really kind of cheesy but it's like you can honestly tell when someone's like honestly being them it really kind of shows in their work so that's the advice from grandpa graffiti <laughs>